Good evening. I'd like to welcome you to the school committee meeting of May 29th, 2018. As we always do, I want to remind you that this uh, meeting is being recorded live. I would like to begin with the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And if we would now have a moment of silence and remember um, those who gave their lives yesterday, we did celebrate Memorial Day. So please keep those folks who've given up their lives so that we may live as we do in this country. Thank you. Um, we're going to begin this meeting, first of all, by congratulating Bob Hayes on his re-election to school committee, and also Fred Small on his re-election to school committee, and to Chris Scriven, who will be beginning his career on, in school committee. The first order of business is to reorganize the school committee, and I will be looking for nominations for chair. I'd like to nominate Bob Hayes. Second. Okay. Uh, Bob Hayes has been nominated, and that has been seconded by Mr. Boyce. Are there any other nominations? Is there any discussion? Okay, we'll now take a vote. Be by Boyce. Yes. 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 Okay, it is unanimous. I'm going to pass the gavel to Chair Hayes, who is beginning his how, how many years on school committee? 16. 16. Okay. Sweet 16. Thank you all. Um, and Chris, welcome. And congratulations to Fred also. Thank you. On re election. Okay. I'll entertain a nomination for vice chair. I'd like to nominate Fred Small. Second. Are there any other nominations for vice chair? I'll nominate Bob Trotter. Second. Okay. Um, we have, are there any other nominations for vice chair? Okay, we're gonna close nominations for vice chair. All those in favor of Fred Small? Voice? Yes, please. Aye. No. Nay. No. Yes. 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 No. 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 Okay. Let me go around the table again because I got to keep track. So we have three. So we got Dan. Are you keeping track, Michelle? I have Mr. Carley. You're the best. Well, Mr. Hayes is three plus six others. Oh, and Mr. Boyce. So I guess that's. So four. One, two, Maybe four, three, five. Four. All those in favor of Bob Trotter? Yes. No. 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 Yes. 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 We didn't vote for the vote. So what do you got? Well, right now I have yes, O'Brien, Scriven. Jones, and you did not vote on that one that I heard. No, I didn't vote. Great. I'm saying no. Oh. You can't vote for both. You, you keep. Yeah. Well, you can't vote for both. Me? I think she missed you. Four. Oh. Five. Do you have Trotta? Trotta. Four. And Trotta, so it's five. Mr. Trotta wins. Okay. Bob Trotter, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I'd say accept, <coughs> excuse me, nominations for uh, secretary clerk. I nominate Fred Small. Second. Are there any other nominations for <coughs> secretary clerk? Okay, 
Hearing none, we'll close nominations for secretary clerk. Robin? Yes. 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 Congratulations, Fred. I entertain a motion for nominations for treasurer. I'd like to nominate Dan Cowardy. Second. Are there any other nominations for treasurer? Treasurer is closed. Yes. 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 Congratulations, Dan. We need an assistant treasurer. I'll nominate Chris Howard. Second. Any other nominations for assistant treasurer? Close nominations for assistant treasurer? Yes. 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 Yep. Yes. 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 Congratulations, Mr. Thank Howard. You. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> okay. Um, I'd entertain a motion to approve the minutes of May 9th, 2018. So move. Yeah. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Opposed? Abstain? No. <coughs> Just for the sake of getting Mr. McHugh out of here, um, we're going to vote to ratify the Unit A Collective Bargaining Agreement for July 1st, 2018 to July 30, 2021. I believe we have a few members that are going to have to recruit themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do we have enough? Chris, yeah, I have a niece. Oh. He's got a teacher. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the club. Small town. <laughs> so you don't have a quorum. You don't have a quorum. We have to go. Or? We have to go. They're don't saying they because go. of yeah. conflict of interest. Oh. They all have family members employed by the school. <clears throat> well, we're not going into executive session. So we're fine. They stay. They just, just don't vote. vote. Right? Yeah, they don't yeah, have just, to leave. Yeah. Just don't vote. Yeah. It's nothing. Yeah. Just private. Okay. Just abstain. Okay. Just okay. Just Fall and vote. Well, just don't vote. You may, have, okay. you may have a vote problem. All right. Um, and then, and Mike and Q, of course. Yeah, that's still considered. You abstain. So then you still have a quota. Just a fair. Right. Yeah, we're all going to abstain, Sandra. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Five. Five. Uh -huh. Five. Yeah. Five. Five. There you go. Say what? Yes. You need a vote. Your wife is a substitute. I know. You, I you, think Mike can vote. Can I vote? But yeah, she's a substitute nurse. I know. Yeah. Which yeah. isn't no, part of you today. Part of the contract. Is, so I'm good? No, What's it's that? not part of the contract. No. So okay. Right, exactly. So that's. So Mike you have mine. a teacher. Yeah. Hmm? Well, you have okay. Teacher. We're good. Fine. Okay. Yeah, I'll entertain a motion to accept. Uh, Fred, you want to? Uh, entertain a motion to accept the memorandum of agreement for Unit A as presented. Second. Abstain. Yes. Abstain. 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 Yes. 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 Okay. Great. And Beth's got signatures here. Thanks for coming, Mike. How are you going to do on the next lottery? Yeah. Wasn't there? We have to keep telling Ryan. So he was, he's a public company. He's got a technical staff. One from the company, one from the agency. So we got to keep telling him. For any? No, for the uh, just for the agreement. Just for that. Okay. Just for the time. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. That can go to Michelle. 
Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Beth. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Yeah, it was it's good. We got it Thank done. You. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. I can clap. I just can't. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. All right. Bye bye. See you. Yeah. All right. Mike, thanks. Thank you. Okay, Superintendent. This will be very quick. Um, first of all, if you um, haven't turned in information to Chair Hayes regarding my evaluation, please do so. We'll be reporting out on that on June 6th, which will be our meeting next Wednesday evening, um, week from tomorrow. Um, the second and third items, B and C, require that you appoint um, superintendent of schools uh, to be Jeff Simonak to the North River Collaborative Board of Directors and secondly is to the PCC Board of Directors. I thought we might as well take care of this housekeeping tonight. So we'd be I'll looking. entertain um, a motion to right. appoint Jeff to North River Collaborative Board of Directors. So moved. Second. Discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. Entertain a motion to appoint Jeff Simonak to the PCC Board of Directors. Second. Motion. Did you get that, Chris? Um, I heard second. I'll make the motion. I'll. I thought you made the motion. I'll move. I you made the motion. Sorry. Did you make the motion? No. He can't. He can't. No. I'll make oh, the motion. I thought I heard somebody make it. Okay. He's quick on the second. We weren't fast enough for Bob. He was going. <laughs> okay. Any, any discussion? All those in favor? Unanimous. Thank you. And the last thing is, if you recall, at our. Uh, meeting earlier in the month, we brought to your attention there was a piece of land for sale that is near the high school. You asked us to get some more information to see if it could possibly be a donation or what the cost was. And there is not, um, I think the idea of a donation is um, probably not something that the uh, sellers are interested in. And the sale of the property right now is price tagged at $50,000. Now, if this is something you wanted to pursue more there's all things are always subject to negotiations, but that's the cost of the land that we talked about at the last sure. meeting. I'd like to make a motion to indefinitely table any movement or consideration of that property. Second. Discussion. Bob, what did you want to do, Fred? What's the motion? Oh, sorry. What is that motion? Definitely table it. Definitely um, table. In other words, I don't think I that there's I don't know. any. In my opinion, any Have interest you seen in going after the <coughs> property at that type of price tag, and at least that allows us to just say, "Hey, we put it on the burner forever." Yeah. Okay, thank you. So, I guess question more for Ruth or Ernie: um, Is the land usable for us? I don't think we've gone that far to even look at that, okay. Rob. So that's something you'd probably, if you wanted to get more information. My understanding is someone said it could maybe be used for parking or something like that. Okay. Is but building but, a, you know, the, these yeah. are wetlands around here, so it really. Right, it, right. that's why I was curious about <coughs> if it's usable land or not. Yeah. If, if you looked at, one second, Fred, if you looked at the lot, Robbie, it's out behind. Oh yeah, no, I looked at it and I saw yeah. the wetlands, but I didn't delineated. know if there was some upland up on it also. Yeah. And, and I'm not looking at parking, I'm looking at where we're able to put a structure on it. Sure. Be storage, be whatever. I, I just don't know if like yeah. that's even an option. That's Fred? what I was curious about. Yeah, no, I, I don't think it'd even be big enough for a that, structure. That's the question, right? And the only thing so. you could possibly do with it at some point in time is maybe swap some wetlands somewhere else so that it so could be can, more utilized yeah. by. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. Too small yeah. as possible. Can I ask how it came up? As an issue? It, it became for sale, so the real estate offer, the real estate broker called the district and I said, see. This may be, it's landlocked. Mm -hmm. This may be something we're a direct about that the school might be interested in. It's about, <coughs> if I remember right, five acres. That's what I remember, five, five acres. acres. Yeah. Chris? So I guess two things. So, one, to Rob's point, I'd want to know what is the proposed use before mm. I make a decision on it. And then, second, um, I said my piece before. I don't. We're, we're pretty strapped from an economic standpoint, so I think the price would have to come down for us for me to support it. But those are my two thoughts. Would Would the committee like me? And I've got to go to the town hall next week to go down and pull the plot plan and tell you exactly how much of it is wet. I, I walked that a, a week after that came just to see if I could kind of try to figure. I couldn't. I couldn't tell exactly where. I wouldn't say it's all wet by any means. 
but it's a big it's a big piece of land that abuts us. Maybe fifty thousand is a bit high, but would they take twenty? And would that they might twenty right. years from now we do something with it. right? Geez, we might need this. Right. Uh, right. I'd be all I'd be all for move this, entertaining. Maybe this is more suitable for the facilities subcommittee to start mm. looking into to see if there's any use for this, mm. and if that way that you can meet outside of this. Well, you could meet with the realtor. You could go yeah. take a look yeah. at the land. Figure out, you it's know, very is, interesting. is it doable besides a parking lot? Because, I mean, if we're going to get conservation all this other stuff, that's probably the subcommittee should start looking at that. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Is everybody all right with it? Yeah. Yeah. I could put, I'll put it on the agenda for facilities. Have section. at it. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Like you know, still a motion. Got a motion out there. In the a motion in the to, second. To just table it indefinitely. Yeah, uh, we can yeah. bring it up anytime we want yep. by doing that. Yep. So I've got a motion in a second to table it, not to throw it away, but to table it till we want to bring it up again. Mm -hmm. All those in favor? All those opposed? All those abstaining? I'm, op I'm opposed. I did, I, so I, I wanted clarity on the motion, but we voted it, so. I mean, indefinitely table was. Until we want to bring it up again. That wouldn't be indefinitely table, right? So, but it's fine. We're in good. other words, there's no We're definitive good. time frame to bring it up. <clears throat> When facilities, facilities, yeah, we'll when we get to the mm -hmm. facilities subcommittee reappointment, nice. we'll get somebody on that. Um, <coughs> That's what I have. Okay. Simonek wasn't here, so he is appointed to those two committees. <laughs> yeah. Um, the, just the, the beginning. The, <laughs> the Hanson 200 Celebration uh, Committee. <coughs> would like to partner up with the school district in the, from the Board of Selectmen point of view to participate in Hanson's 200th celebration in 2020. Um, we, I don't think we have to vote it. This is just to let you know that they're going to try to partner up with some stuff for the school district, probably like they did Memorial Day as the band was involved, and mm -hmm. they want to know what type of involvement we have. So if anybody on the board has any ideas or anything they want to throw at it, it is coming up in 2020. And they talked about things such as having art students design a logo, do things such as that. I mean, I think at this point, um, Laura Kemet contacted me. They're just looking for district support mm -hmm. in moving forward. I went, <clears throat> while we're talking about the Board of Selectmen, I went on uh, last Tuesday evening to remind them that they were invited to the uh, graduation ceremony on Friday night. Please call and talk to um, Siobhan if they needed seating and we'll do the same with Whitman. I know everyone's received letters. I don't know what type of uh, response Siobhan has got, but I know that they know. I already gave her everything she needed. What? I already gave her the counts for everybody who's attending okay. for both PES, the banquet, for Is there anybody here that isn't attending? Graduation? Graduation? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Chris? Okay. All right. We ratified that. Mm -hmm. Subcommittee assignments. Okay. We can do this quickly and we can get done here. Negotiation subcommittee. I, we're in negotiations but unit A is done. Who would like to be still on the committee for C, uh, B, C, and D? Oh, I'll do it. I think, I think I was on B. You were on B already. Yeah. 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 Bob. We have to put you back. I'm just making the list for you. Yeah. Oh, okay. C, <coughs> I think we're doing together. Fred, you're yep. on C or D, right? Mm -hmm. Dan? Yep. C and D? Yep, when I can get there, I'll get there. Yes? Yep. Mike? No. Chris Howard? No. This is Brad. <laughs> Anyone else want to be on <laughs> C and D? Right. Yeah, you've got a call for it. With uh, <coughs> one's a teacher and one's what else? Facilities. Facilities, okay. Any, Mr. Boyce, would you like to be on any of that? I wouldn't mind, no. it's just the hours and, okay. and the travel and, and so forth. But thank you. Facilities is not a conflict. Okay. All right. Facilities is not a conflict. Is it? No. Who else is on B besides me? Just you. Just me. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll work what with you on B? I'll help you too. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. 
Chris, it's you not a complex. And it's not a complex. The facilities are Okay. Um, okay. Cool. So for, for negotiations, you have Mr. Small, Mr. Cullen, and Mr. Hayes, and Mr. Stroud is left with three days. And Chris and Bob for uh, B. Just B. I'm just on B. Okay. Okay. Facilities and capital projects. I'll do it again. Who do it again? I'll do it again. Robbie? Yes. Fred? Yes. Mike? Yes. Dan? 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 Chris? That's five, can't have any more, because it'll be six. <coughs> Policy subcommittee. I'll stay on that. Bob, yes. I'll stay on. Chris, yes. Fred? Nothing better than me. Yeah, I mean, it's very few and far between. Chris? Please. It's a point to you. Yeah. Did Chris say yes? Anyone else? Dan, you okay? I'm okay. Mr. B? I'm good. Thank you. Warrant subcommittee. You know what the warrant subcommittee involves? <laughs> I'll do Signing. it. Signing. Robbie? I'll do it. I'm around if you need someone. I'll do it, Bob. Uh, Dan, did you say yes? Yes. I'll stay on it, too. If we Anyone need else? Someone. I'll do it. And Mike, we got Mike. Chris and Mike. <coughs> okay, so we have O'Brien, Cullity, Toronto, Jones, Howard. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Somebody can else might. Mike Jones. We can take one more. I have five. Chris has two minutes. Okay. O'Brien, Cullity, Toronto, Jones, Howard. Okay. Pilgrim Area Collaborative. Mr. Boyce, would you yes, like to remain? Absolutely. Any line? Anybody want to be the ultimate? You're it. Thanks. <laughs> He's got a cup. Legislative reps. <laughs> Fred, legislative rep. Yeah. You and Mike. Mike. Anybody else want to be involved? There can be more. No, I just pick up odds and ends. Okay. Um, MASC MASS Joint Conference Delegate and Alternate. Mr. Boyce. Yes. Anybody want to be the alternate? If no one else does, I'll do it. You're in. Mr. T. Okay. Michelle, are you, are you good with that now? No, I'm gonna look at your sheet. We're good? I'm gonna collaborate and make sure we have- We don't need regional, we don't need regional agreement, right? Are we done with that? Subcommittee assignments, legislative reps, collaborative Plymouth area, that's done. And MASC. Bob, do we need regional agreement or are we done? We're, we're gonna finish that up at June 6th. The legal counsel's. No, I mean, do we need that? I, I see it on the. It was on the no. agenda, so that was. I we don't need it anymore. Okay. <coughs> Hopefully, we will finish that off on June sixth. That sounds okay. wonderful. Okay. Seeing nothing else on the agenda, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you.